Hi everyone and welcome back to our Heroes Biographies. Today we are going to get to know Ruth, a woman who is admired by many. So today we'll learn more about her and what makes her a hero. This is Heroes 2 Hero Biography. Joining me today, I have Pastor Van Dion. Hello, Pastor. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you today? Well, I'm doing excellent. I'm excited to be able to discuss Ruth and get some deeper insight from you. I know that so far we've been getting to know so many of other of our other characters that are going to be available on Heroes 2. And Ruth is one that Although we do consider her so uh, so great and she's admired and she, you know, everyone knows her story and we think she's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I have to admit, I've never said, wow, Ruth, a hero, you know? <laughs> yeah. um, I, I think that her story is beautiful, right? We know that she was a Moabite woman. We know that she was married to one of Naomi's sons. And sadly, Naomi's husband and sons eventually die. Mm -hmm. um, Naomi, she decides to return to Bethlehem and Ruth says that she will also go along with her, which I mm -hmm. think is a very admirable decision. Um, she decides to stick with her mother-in-law and they go together to Bethlehem. And then eventually we know that she meets Boaz. Mm -hmm. She marries him. And I think the most interesting part about Ruth's story is that eventually there's so many different and very important characters in her lineage, including David, who yeah. ends up being king of Israel, and of course, Jesus. Yeah. So those are just some of the facts that we all know. But today, we have some questions for you, so I hope you're ready to just get us to get to know her a little bit better. So are you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> all right. Well, my first question is, why do we like Ruth's story so much? I mean, it's a nice story, but what makes her just so important? Yeah, you know, I think the thing that we really love about Ruth is that she is touchable. Yeah, in mm. other words, she she doesn't come across as this Bible character that you cannot mm. identify with, and her humanness really comes across, and uh, and she's so touchable that so many people in life today can identify with with Ruth immediately. I think that's mm. what what we really love about her. You know, I've never considered the fact that maybe just how um, just how relevant she is mm -hmm. in her humanness. You know, uh, there are there are so many other Bible characters that have like crazy things happen to them. Like you have Jonah, right? And you you have King David who goes through all of these different like crazy events. Mm -hmm. But Ruth is pretty normal, you would say. A lot of her situations are things that we could also go through. And you're right, that might be something that does kind of call our attention to her. Yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. We we have so many people who, who've experienced um, loss, uh, you know, yeah. and uh, it hits close to home yeah. uh, when you lose someone that you really love and you're mm -hmm. trying to, you know, get back on your feet again. Uh, mm -hmm. Ruth is that kind of person that helps us identify uh, with her. Definitely. Now, my next question, uh, which funny enough, you know, we're just talking about how pretty relevant she is, how human she is, but then she's included in Heroes too. She is one of the characters. So we are regarding her as a hero. What makes Ruth a hero? Well, I think um, it's heroic for her to uh, commit um, to a life with her um with her mother-in-law naomi um mm -hmm. this is you know <laughs> this is not something that is like a fad uh, we know uh, mm -hmm. oprah, uh oprah went back uh mm -hmm. to her land and uh yeah. you know, ruth was like no you know you know teens love to use this phrase ride or die you know <laughs> yes that's, that's that's kind of ruth i mean she's like i'm I am your ride or die. We're mm. in this thing together. You know, she even says, whether thou goest, I will go. Whether mm. thou lodgest, I will lodge. You know, she is that kind of person that has a a, a commitment um, to sticking to um, what she has committed to. And I think that that is heroic in itself. Uh, heroes commit to something or someone. And uh, that's what Ruth does. 
you know what? <laughs> I've never thought about Ruth and go, wow, Ruth, what a ride or die. <laughs> so I think that from now on, like that's definitely something that's going to stick to my mind. Ruth is a ride or die for yeah. Naomi. She yeah. definitely makes that commitment. Mm -hmm. um, and you just mentioned the text. And one of the, the phrases that I love so much is how she says, your God will be my God. Yes. You know, she decides then and there that she's not just going to stick around with Naomi, but she's going to completely believe what Naomi believes. She's going to join in on whatever Naomi decides to join into. So mm -hmm. that commitment is, as much as she's very human, I don't think a lot of us are that committed to anything, right? Yeah, you know, we, we struggle. Um, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think that's why I am, you know, drawn to this he, he, hero um, in, in Ruth is because, yeah, she does commit to um, mm -hmm. not only sticking with Naomi, as you sta stated, but sticking to uh, Naomi's God. And um, mm -hmm. Naomi needed that, you know, whether, mm -hmm. you know, she tried to shun her away, you know, but she really realized, you know, I need I need this. And uh, mm -hmm. let's just see what God's going to do. You know, she eventually gives in and says, OK, let's do this thing. <laughs> you know, yeah, You're with me, I'm with you. We're with our uh, with my God. And uh, that God became Ruth's God. Mm -hmm, definitely. Now, you mentioned the word, the word struggle, that all of us do struggle with committing to something the way that Ruth committed. But what is something that Ruth struggled with in her own life? Yeah, whether or not she was going to, um, you know, have a life again. You know, she mm -hmm. didn't know uh, whether or not she was going to have, you know, uh, children uh, mm -hmm. you know, was she going to get married again? I mean, she just struggled with, uh, being alone, um, mm -hmm. uh, having had a husband and having a good life, you know, uh, to me, again, those are all identifiers that other yeah. humans can identify with. And even our teens, um, who will get a chance to connect with this game, they also are connecting with real life situations. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so that struggle of, man, am I going to be <laughs> with someone you know, and none of us, I don't care who we are, you know, not necessarily in a marital relationship, but just period. We like to be in relationship because we're designed to be in relationship. Yeah. And she wanted that. Mm -hmm. That That's that's so interesting that you mentioned that because I never thought, um, I think that's the biggest mistake we make, that when we look at these Bible characters, we don't really think of them as real, living, breathing human beings. That's you know, right. they're not just someone on the pages of this book. They were real people and they dealt with real things. And I'm sure that loneliness was a big part of that. The fact that also she's coming into this new country and it's like, what am I supposed to do here? What are the traditions here? Um, am I going to find a husband here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, and, you know, with all of those real life questions, um, the good news is there are some real life answers. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and God has a way of answering those questions for us. Um, to comfort us when we need it the most. Definitely. And, and we can see that God had a plan ultimately with Ruth. But then that brings me to my next question, right? We know that she was a Moabite woman and she does decide to commit to this God. Um, but how much did she know about this God? What was her relationship with this God actually like? Uh, you know, I think um, <laughs> it was... Uh, it was an up and down, um, I would say, um, but because she had, um, she understood what God uh, was doing, you know, even though she couldn't actually put her hands on it and wasn't, you know, quite clear of everything. Yeah. I think that over time, she realized that this, this God that yeah. I am committing to is real and, mm -hmm. uh, and he looks out for real people people like me mm -hmm. understands my real needs and uh and he knows my my heart and he yeah. orchestrates all kinds of things that i have nothing to do with only to accept the fact that this is god that's doing it definitely you know when, when you were saying that about how her relationship might have been and how she's realizing who this god is because she is yeah. going through this period where she's like who is he really yeah. um i think about the fact that her first introduction to god is naomi 
Mm -hmm. right? This is the first person she encounters that basically portrays God to her. And obviously she did an excellent job because this girl decides, well, if that's the God that you believe him and, and believe in, and I see how he is with you, even though your husband died and your sons died and you still choose to stick by him, then I want to stick by this God as well. Right? So yeah. I feel like her relationship evolved from having to see Naomi and her faith just being put um, in, in under fire. Absolutely. And, um, and I think that's the, um, that that's another heroic side of, mm -hmm. um, of Ruth to, um, to choose, you know, mm -hmm. not, not to be forced, but to choose to mm -hmm. believe that God that, that has strengthened in some way, you know, my mother-in-law and has, mm -hmm. um, allowed her to even share this God with me and, mm -hmm. uh, with all that she has gone through, she is yeah. still trusting in so someone named God. I want I want that same kind of relationship. Yeah. Yeah. What, what you just said, I feel like brings me perfectly into our last question. It went by so quickly. Um, <laughs> just what you mentioned about making decisions. Like you said, uh, this the, the Heroes 2 game is fun. It's exciting. I, everyone is definitely going to enjoy it. That I know for sure. But we're also encountering real life situations by getting to know these characters on a deeper level. And what you just mentioned about the fact that she made a decision, she makes a choice, is something that's relevant to us, to our young people, to teens, to older adults, everyone, that there is a choice to be made. But other than that, uh, is there something else in her story that we can also apply to our lives in a practical way? Yeah, I, I, I would say uh, one of the things that we can all apply to our lives is that even in the face of adversity, um, mm -hmm. we have someone that we can lean on. We have someone that we can call on. And also, even also in the face of adversity, God always that's that's the key word there. He always orchestrates someone to be around us, to be in our presence, to for us to co connect with, that will actually help walk us through um, our time of issues and challenges. And they mm -hmm. are going to come. But the good news is we are not met with them by ourselves. God has a way of putting the right people in the right place at the right time to mm -hmm. walk us through our issues and challenges and adversities. We can learn that from um, from Ruth and we can come out heroes uh, mm. and uh, we can come out victorious because of the main hero, God himself. Amen. That was beautifully put. That's an excellent way to close up our insight into Ruth. I think that you just convinced a lot of us that we need to look a little bit deeper into her life story, that maybe she's not out here doing extraordinary things like winning, I don't know, someone in battle or like surviving being swallowed by a fish. Yeah. But ultimately, she was obviously a character that her heart was willing uh, to open up to God. And I think that it's so marvelous that we can see that somebody who came uh, from a different type of people, a different culture, who decided to follow this God, ultimately, the salvation of the entire world comes from her lineage. And that that's like so powerful. She definitely deserves her place in Heroes 2 as a hero herself. So thank you so much, Pastor Vandion, for joining us today. Thank you for giving us a deeper insight and appreciation to who Ruth was. God bless you. Thank you for having me. Excellent. Now, well, thank you everyone for joining us on another Heroes 2 biography. I know that I've learned so much about Ruth and I've been learning so much about all our heroes in the Heroes 2 game. And I hope that you all have too. We hope to see you next time when we jump into another character that you will be able to find on Heroes 2. So see you then.